everyone and welcome to today's video i hope you're all well and looking forward to your weekend this is part one part two will be on monday i'm still finishing it off um i just ran out of time guys so if you're new here i'm joe i do craft videos i do about three a week if you've not subscribed and you want to see more from me then it'd be great if you did subscribe give it a thumbs up and leave a comment i'll always reply if you've been turning as always welcome back my friends i hope you're all well and yeah let's get into it so i'm using a mixture of things um but the main thing that i'm going to be using is the popsicle sticks or lollipop sticks i get mine from poundland they're a pound a pack i used about three and a half packs to make up to now so um four should be plenty also i picked up some bags of shells from another pound shop well it say it's pound shop they have things in it that's more expensive than a pound and i paid 150 each bag then I picked up these stones a while ago. They were on sale and I got them for a pound for B&M's. I've got a mixture of acrylic paint that I'm going to be using and some paint brushes. I get my brushes from Poundland. And then I picked up these rocks from B&M's. They were 50p a pack. I got three, but I'm only probably going to be using one in this. Then I've got some cardboard from an old cardboard box and some A4 white card. And then I picked this... Um, garland up from a charity shop i paid 250 for it i'm going to take it apart and i'm going to use the starfish and the rope off it and then leave the words for another project at some point i'm sure you'll need a glue gun a pair of scissors a pair of tweezers um a ruler a pen um and some wire cutters so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make the base for the beach huts and i'm going to glue two horizontal sticks against a vertical stick and i'm going to then glue 12 sticks across i'm going to glue 11 in place including the one that we've just put in and then i'm going to cut the ends of the sticks with a pair of wire cutters to score them and then a pair of scissors and then I'll pop the last one in place. If you've seen my videos before, I do this quite often. Um, yeah, this is just how I build my blocks of sticks. So I've got to the end, all 11 are in place. I'm just gonna trim the ends with the wire cutters and then the scissors, and then I'm gonna pop the other one in place. So originally I started making six and then realized halfway through I only needed five. So for most of the video, it'll look like I've got six and then halfway through, I decided I actually only needed the five. So I will be back in a little bit. So now that I've got my six or five, which I only needed, um, I'm going to paint them in two different colours. I'm going to mix some expensive white paint that I get um, and some of this blue metallic paint from Poundland. It's really runny, um, so I mix it with the white to make it a lot easier to paint so I don't have to do so many coats. And I'm going to do two coats and I'm going to paint three of them in the blue colour. And then I'm going to paint two in white. I do do three, but I ended up only using two. And I'm going to do two coats on both of them and let them dry. So I've got my three blue and my two white. And now I'm going to do the contrasting colours. And we're going to need six sticks for each beach hut. So you'll need one stick for around each of the edges like so and then you'll want to for the roof and I'm going to paint these before I stick them down so I'm going to do six for each one and they're going to be contrasting colors so for the blue ones I'm going to do white sticks and for the white huts I'm going to do blue sticks and I'm going to paint them do two coats let them dry and I'll be back. So I've sped the video up for you and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start gluing these in place. I'm going to do the sides first. So for the white huts I'm going to use the blue sticks and for the blue huts I'm going to use the white sticks that I've painted. So I started with each side of the hut first. Then I did the bottom of the hut. And then I added the top piece. And 
and then for the roof I glued the two sticks together first and while the glue was still wet I then placed them on the hooks and made sure that the edges of the hook were where the sticks would meet and then I just glued that into place. So I'm going to do exactly the same with the other five and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that all the sticks in the hook, the white sticks on this one are horizontal just so that they're the same, facing the same way um, and yeah so all my sticks were facing horizontal and I will glue them in place and then I will be back. So I've got my hooks and now we're going to pop the roofs in and this is where I realised I only wanted five instead of six. So I ended up picking three blue and having two white but we're going to do the roof section now. And for this all I'm going to do is flip it over, take some sticks, hold it in place and then I'm going to mark with a pen where we need to cut. And then I'm just going to hold that in place and get the next one and then mark the next stick. And I did this this way because I wanted to paint them first before I stuck them in place. Normally I would stick them in place and then paint them but I just thought it would be a lot easier to do it this way. So I marked them all first, then I cut them all and then I painted them and then stuck them down. So for the white huts you'll want a white roof and for the blue huts you'll want a blue roof. And each roof took five pieces to fill the section in. So I'm just holding them in, marking where they need to be cut. And then I'm going to cut them, paint them, two coats, let them dry and then I'm going to glue them in place and I'll do all that off camera. So the base of the huts are now completely done and I'm going to start to add a little bit of the decoration. Not all of it but I want to put the starfish on. So I'm just going to untie all of the garland, take the starfish off and leave the rope because I want to use that later on. So I didn't want to cut it so I just untied it all. So I'm now going to stick five starfish on the right hand side of each hut. And I'm just going to pop a bit of hot glue on the back. And you can get things like this off Wish and Amazon. Um, I was just lucky enough to find what I wanted in a charity shop. So this is what I'm using. So I'm going to do that with the other four. So they're all dry and now I'm going to start to work on the bottom bit but I am going to put some doors on the huts. I'm not 100% sure at this point what colour I was going to do but in the end I decided on a light grey and yeah I'm going to do that later on in the video. So for the base of the huts I'm going to be using lollipop sticks. I've just placed them on the table so I can measure them, the huts that we've already made and I want it to be around about 30 centimetres in length so that'll fit the huts on and I'm going to start to build the base. So I worked out that I wanted it to be eight sticks wide, not wide, yeah eight sticks wide and this is so there's enough space that once I glue the beach hut at the back I've still got space to put candles or whatever I want to put into it so I'm going to do this now by sticking the sticks exactly the same as we started at the beginning of the video I'm going to take two horizontal sticks on one vertical stick
then I'm going to glue the rest of the sticks down, trim off the end, end and then glue the last one in place so it's eight wide. And now I'm going to do that exactly the same and I ended up doing seven in the end so that it was long enough to get all the houses on all the beach houses and yeah seven was what I ended up making depending on how many you make will depend on how long you need your base to be so I've got my seven pieces and now we can start to glue them together so I'm just going to take two sections trim off the end of one of the sticks so we've got a straight edge and then I'm just going to hold in place the stick right at the edge I'm going to mark off with a pen when we need to cut just trim off the edges so it's nice and neat and then I'm going to glue the two together using the piece that we've just cut And then to make it a little bit stronger, I'm going to flip it over and do exactly the same on the underneath. Start with a straight edge. Hold in place and then mark with a pen. And then glue that one in place. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the other five pieces until I've got one long piece. So I've glued all the seven sections together and now we can start to work on the edges. And for the edges I used two sticks which I glued side by side. I didn't put anything on the back of them. I just put glue down one side of the stick and then glued the other stick to it. and then rubbed off any excess glue that was left and I'm going to do this for the whole of the front and the whole of the back so because I've got seven sections that we've glued together I need two sticks for the front so that's seven and then two sticks each for the back so that's 14 so I'll be making 14 of these and then gluing them into place And to glue them in place, I'm just going to add some glue across the edge of the base. And then adding the sticks to it. And I'm going to work my way across the front and then I'll do the back. And there'll be a slight gap in between each one, but we're going to cover that up in a little bit anyway. So you won't see that and it will make it a lot stronger as well. So now I'm going to finish off the sections at the end and we're basically going to do the same as what we did before. I'm going to take a stick and make a straight edge. 
hold it in place, mark with a pen, cut off the excess and then do the same for the other end and just glue them in place. And then now we need to sort the back out for when we put the beach huts in. We need a flat surface because we've got the sections in the middle where we glued the seven sections together. It means that it's a little bit uneven. So all I'm going to do now is take a full stick and glue that across the back flat. And then I'm going to carry on working my way across the whole back. So I've put one in place and then I'm going to put the next one. And this just makes life a little bit easier when we glue the houses in later. Or beach huts. So I've glued them in all across the back. I'm not putting in any at the front, but now I am going to do the sections to hide the gaps. So I've measured seven centimeter. I've measured a seven centimeter section. I've left the curved edge at the top of the stick and I'm just going to glue that in place. And I'm going to do this all the way across the front and the back of the base. And they're all exactly the same size, seven centimeters. And now we can finish off the edges of the base. So again, like we did with the front, I'm going to do two sticks that are stuck together, but I'm going to cut them to size first. And then once I've straightened the edges off, I'm going to glue these two together side by side. And then glue at the end of the base. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. And then to finish off, I'm going to add sections like we did at the front. I'm going to add one at the front and one at the back on each side. And again, at seven centimeters. And the base is done. So now I can paint it. So I'm actually going to paint the whole of the base white. I'm going to do the insides and all the edges white. And while I've got the paint out, I'm also going to paint the back of the beach houses. I've got still loads of the light blue that I mixed. So I'm going to use that and finish off the back of the houses. I'm going to do one coat on each and I'll be back when it's dry. So it's dry now and we can start to add a little bit of the detail. So I'm using some rope. This is the rope off the garland. I've had a look and you can get rope off Amazon. It's quite reasonably priced. So now I'm just going to stick this in place. And then I'm going to pull the rope straight and then glue it to the next piece of wood. And work my way across the front. I'm not going to add any rope to the back. I'm just going to add it to the front. So that's in place now and what I've done is I've just laid the beach huts on the table flat just to give a rough idea about where I want to stick them. And I'm going to start off with one end and put the first house in place. I'm just going to add glue all across the bottom of it. And then I'm going to add a tiny little bit to the back. And then I'm going to glue it in place. And 
and then I'm going to work from the other end I'm going to put the one at the end that's on the other end and I'm going to put that one in next leaving the same amount of gap from the end to the, ha the hook as I did on the other side. And then I'm going to put the next two in and then the one in the middle last. So the hooks are now stuck in place and I'm really happy with how it's looking. I'm so chuffed with it, honestly, guys. When I started it, I didn't think it would look like this. Um, so yeah, really happy with how it's looking. And now I've taken a stick and I'm going to do the doors. So I've cut it to seven centimetres. I'm going to do three sticks for each door. So I've got five hooks, so I'll need 15 pieces at seven centimetres. I'm going to cut them. And now I've got them all cut, I'm going to paint them in a light grey. I've just mis mixed a tiny little bit of black with a load of white and I'm going to paint these now. I'm going to do two coats. So I'm going to do one coat, let it dry and then do another coat. So my sticks are now drying and then just to finish off ready for tomorrow when I carry on working on it, I'm going to paint half a piece of card with the leftover paint. Don't worry guys, I did change the brush. I didn't use this tiny little brush all the way through it. I used a larger one but it was just what I had in my hand at the time. So I'm going to do that, use up the paint so I'm not wasting it and then that'll be ready for when I carry on tomorrow um, working on it ready for Monday. So this is where I've got up to. I've spent the last two and a half days working on it. It took a while to do the huts and the base. It took me a day to do the huts and it took me a day to do the base. So yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing it off over the weekend and having it ready for you on Monday. So here it is up to now. I absolutely love the colours. I'm loving how it looks and I'm really excited to finish it off for you guys. So have a wonderful weekend. I will see you on Monday. Take care for now everybody. Bye.